I would like to hear from you. Two, three stories of what inspires you, what gives you hope in the world today. I have to tell you, and my eyes, my eyes water every time I hear our president speak. Um, the hope that that everybody felt in 2008 when he was elected, I'm still right there with. Mm. Um, I think, particularly given, frankly, the barrage of nonsense emanating from the mouths of certainly every single one of the Republican candidates for president right now. Um, when he gets up and speaks our president, and it's articulate, and he speaks in full sentences, and it's respectful of others and respectful of himself, and it's thoughtful, and it's never reactionary, and I say that with a small r and a big r, that gives me hope that, mm. that we, in the middle of all of our lunacy, and I think we're often such a silly country, the fact that we elected him still to this day mm. gives me profound hope. That's number one. Okay. You ready for number two? I am. Um, I'm teaching at NYU, um, which is uh, the program that I'm a graduate of. Uh, Robert Friedman, who is my writing partner on A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, and I uh, met in the NYU Musical Theater pro in the graduate in the NYU Graduate Musical Theater Writing Program, which is now um, in the Tisch School of the Arts. I don't think it was then. And Vicki Clark was in our program, oh. and. Um, uh, George Wolf was in the program, wow. and Winnie Holtzman um, was in. Wow. We were all in that class, and I'm now on faculty there. The very fact of which gives me hope. Mm -hmm. But the students are so wonderful and smart, and thoughtful and interesting, and brave and true to their visions and exploring. Um, you know, I, 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 I feel like I'm in the rare position of having been sort of on both sides of the table. Mm -hmm. And it's always moving to me um, to, 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 to give a class to them, and that always gives me hope. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, it's the truth. It's really the truth, and I try not to show how much I cry when I hear those songs. <laughs> um, and the third thing is that my husband and I are having a baby, and we, are, um, we have a surrogate, uh -huh. and we are not pregnant yet. Okay. Um, but we are... Um, that is our plan. That is okay. our plan to bring a child into this ridiculous, terrifying, um, alas, Republican-filled. <laughs> well, maybe you'll give birth to a Democrat. I, I, I would hope so. I mean, I suppose you'd never know who your child's going to become. <laughs> so, you know, we may watch this film years from now, and my child may be rolling his or her eyes. or their eyes. Their... And, oh, um, right. Um, you know, anything is possible. Um, but that really gives me hope. And, oh, that's um, beautiful.